Warning disturbing content ahead. At the beginning of the film we were shown a man named Gabriel who is in the forest for hunting. When he was hunting a deer he misses the shot and the deer escapes. Then Gabriel sends his dog to follow the deer but the dog finds a little gold color pot and kept playing with it. Then Gabriel comes following the dog and takes the small pot from it while he was looking along. The dog suddenly starts to act strange and attacks him. Gabriel tries to resist but he shoots the in the end when he is unable to control it. After some time Gabriel gets to home and he immediately shoots his wife and then his son to death. After that he screams like a beast and starts to run outside the house and goes into their neighbor's house. He gets straight into the neighbor's kitchen and starts to kill them. He uses the knife to kill a girl and then he boils their mother's face when he is about to kill the little girl. Her father Marcus comes there and shoots Gabriel but soon he gets possessed by the same thing and kills wife and then his daughter. In the next scene we were introduced to a man named Jeb who is sitting at a bar. Then a woman in that bar had a fight with her ex and then gets to Jeb. After getting to Jeb she she starts to flirt with him and her ex notices this and tries to get into a fight with Jeb. Jeb sits calm for a bit and he gets angry when the guy goes overboard. Jeb slams the guy's head to the table and makes him say sorry to the woman seeing this. The woman gets impressed and invites Jeb to her place and he accepts invitation. Next morning we were shown a woman named Evelyn Pierce. Evelyn is an FBI agent and she goes to the police station to meet the police chief Dunham. Evelyn is there to discuss with him about the deaths happened in Gabriel's house in Marcus. When Dunham tells that their men can handle the cases, Evelyn tells it has fallen under her jurisdiction since it is three crimes committed by three different persons. When Dunham assures her that it is not an act of terrorism, Evelyn tells she will leave the case to him immediately after confirming they are unrelated. When Dunham is about to tell her that these are related in a tiny bit which not a big deal, Jeb comes there and tells that each one of the killer killed the last one. Then one of the officers comes in and tries to get Jeb out of there and Jeb starts to tell about the homicides after saying that he has information on these murders. Evelyn lets him talk. When Jeb tells that he is a demon hunter they quickly gets irritated and tells the men to put him in the cell while they are dragging him out. Jeb tries to tell about the demon that has passed the killers but they didn't listen to him and drags him out of there and puts him in the cell while Evelyn is leaving to investigate. Jeb calls her and tells her to ask the witnesses about the eyes of the killers. After some time Evelyn goes to the crime scene to investigate the place and an officer who is with her tells about the whole scenario and tells about the woman that survived this later that Evelyn goes to the surviving woman named Mrs. McCollum. She tells Evelyn what actually happened and tells that after killing family Marcus had come to their house with a gun and shot her daughter. But her husband David who is a former Marine quickly reacted and shot down Marcus. And immediately after that he got possessed by the demon and shot his own son and then he picked up a knife and started to go after her. But she eventually escaped while telling all this she bursts into tears. When Evelyn tries to leave the place she tells to Evelyn that their eyes turned all black. During the incident hearing this Evelyn thinks that Jeb might know something and goes to get him she talked with the chief and releases him from the cell after getting released. He tells them about the demons. He tells that he had been doing this since more than half of his life and tells about how the demons work and they possess the people. He tells the means of possessions of the demons like some has got to touch and some through intercourse and some through the insects too. But this one possessed the ones who killed its present host. And he has also faced this same demon a long time ago being a child with his father. And they finally caught the possessed person and trapped it in a net and explained the town people about this. Then Jeb's father tied himself to a tree and then drank some poison before killing the host. After that Jeb trapped the demon in a bottle and buried it. Evelyn and Dunham believes what he is saying and asks him if he has a plan to catch it later. Jeb tells them a plan to call all the town members for a meeting to inform them about the demon, but Evelyn rejects saying this town is super Christian and they all will go into a panic if they hear this. Then Jeb asks Dunham about last killer to catch the demon, and Evelyn also decides to go along with him to deal with the case. Later Jeb and Evelyn goes to a cabin in the woods and he picks up a net gun to catch the demon. After some time, we see a man approaching the house. After he opens the door Jeb stands right in front of him and shoots him with the net. When the man talked Jeb understands that he is not possessed. When the man tells that he shot the possessed man Jeb asks him to be more detailed. Then the man tells one of his men named Glenn has the last shot but is the one that put it down first. And also tells after that Glenn ran out of there after the shot. Then Jeb releases him and goes after the Glenn guy. After some time their car stops in the middle of nowhere after getting overheated while Evelyn is talking with him. Jeb senses someone watching through the fog and goes after it after Jeb is gone. While Evelyn 
Caitlin is waiting in the car suddenly someone comes from behind but she quickly acts and she gets out of the car to shoot him. But suddenly Glenn pulls her legs from under and then gets top of her when she looks into his eyes. Evelyn starts to see some series of images in her mind which are not clear. Instead killing Evelyn Glenn takes the gun and points it towards himself but he gets diverted by Jab and Glenn jumps onto him then he shoots Glenn with rubber bullets and makes him run into the forest later. They both goes to a motel and stays in a room while Jeb is treating his bullet wounds. Evelyn tells about the vision and the demon doesn't want to kill her. But Jeb tells her it may like her soul since it collects souls to become stronger. Later while Evelyn is changing her shirt Jeb sees some marks on her back through the mirror and then he goes out saying that he will be in the car after some time while Jeb is on the phone with his friend asking to check about Evelyn's lineages. He see her walking out of the motel. He then follows her and asks why she is here. Then Evelyn tells that it is the place she spent her childhood. She tells that during her childhood on the Easter day she fell in the pool and hit her head to the edge and went out for a of minutes. Then her mother carried Evelyn back and she woke up again like nothing happened. And people used to say her mother brought Evelyn back from dead and when the people started to treat them like demons they left the town after hearing all this Jeb figures out why the demon didn't kill her. He then tells her that many years ago the angels who descent to earth have mated with humans and they had has given rise to a half-angelic bloodline, and he got confirmation after seeing the wing-like marks on her and she returning back from dead. He also says that if she is really from the angelic bloodline when the demon takes over her body it will become immensely powerful and then it will start to call all its little demon buddies to earth and destroy the whole thing. The next day the police department holds a meeting in the town hall while Jeb is talking with the citizens about the demon Glenn gets there with a stack of weapons and he started to kill all the people in there, but the cops shoot him and gets possessed by it and continues the killing spree. Then old woman shoot the cop and jumps out of the window. After getting out the old woman gets hit by a truck and the driver gets possessed and he started killing the people with his truck. Then he gets shot by a man and he escapes on a motorcycle. After some time we see two girls in a house alone, they see the man on the motorcycle entering their house. He tries to kill a little girl but gets shot by her sister who is another little girl. Later, Jeb accuses Dunham cause his men didn't follow the orders and caused all this men and leaves. And soon Jeb gets to the church to check and while he is leaving the priest stops him and accuses Jeb for bringing the demon into the town when he is going overboard with his accusations and his typical dumb mentality Jeb shoots him with the rubber bullets and gets out of there. And soon he meets Evelyn who is getting to him. Then suddenly a man named Emmett comes there and when Jeb asks him what happened he tells about his daughter being possessed by a demon, and it turns out she is the little girl from earlier while the man is explaining Jeb about everything. He takes Emmett to his house later they gets to Emmett's house and he asks them for help. Jeb tells him to drink some poison and then kill his daughter. When Emmett refuses to do that Jeb convinces him by saying that his daughter is going through a lot of pain and this is the only way soon. Emmett also agrees after realizing that he can be with his daughters after this. Then Jeb mixes some poison and Emmett drinks it, and he gets prepared to kill his daughter. But soon the FBI breaks into the house and tries to arrest them. Then Evelyn tries to explain the team head Deacon about the situation but Deacon doesn't listen to her and sends her out. After arresting Jeb later the little girl gets out of the basement and starts killing the agents one by one. While Evelyn is trying to get Jeb free, Deacon comes out of the house and soon an injured officer started shooting his men and they escapes out of there later they drags Deacon out of the car and asks him about what happened. Deacon then reveals the FBI has got shot by Deacon himself and tells it is a major injury and soon he will die of blood loss. And soon Deacon gets possessed by the demon and starts to fight with them. When he gets to Evelyn, Jeb gets up and traps him with a net. Later Jeb prepares to kill the demon and then himself but Evelyn tries to stop him and he didn't listen. And then they says their goodbyes and while he is about to kill the demon the priest comes there to stop them. They beats up Jeb and releases Deacon. Deacon immediately starts to kill them one by one. But all this mess ends up being the priest getting possessed in the end after getting possessed the priest comes to Evelyn to get himself killed. But Jeb steps in and the demon starts to beat him up. He rips 
off his finger and tries to use the bone to kill Jeb. But Evelyn picks up a gun and also a jacket from a man with grenades. She then shoots the priest and soon gets possessed by the demon. After getting possessed the demon floats into air and starts screaming out loud and then it sees grenade pin in her hands. Immediately Evelyn blasts into pieces and the demon falls down. Then Jeb sees this and traps the demon into a bottle. Later Jeb throws the bottle into the sea where people couldn't reach but instead of sinking to the bottom the bottle gets eaten by a shark implying that it will reach the surface again. And that's it, what are you waiting for? Subscribe the channel to see more recaps and don't forget to like the video and click bell icon to see more videos. Have a good day.